Held into the line. Dalton Sutherland dumps it right back down and works out for a two on one. Right to the front of the net, right in front and they score! Ryan Tyre, right place, right time and the rebound finds its way to his stick. One nothing, Central Michigan with 8.53 to go here in the first period. Sutherland, 26 seconds left on their power play that just seemed like it started. Back to Gator, Fish at the top of the point, down to Gator, left side circle, down to Tyre, bouncing and he scores! Ryan Tyre with the head on her shot, sneaks past the neck, power play goal for the Chippewas and they've got a 2-0 lead with 4.53 to go in the first period. Now worked up the ice as Gabriel Betley has it. Betley comes out of the zone. Two on one rush developing here for the Blue Devils. Working right side circle. One timer and they score! Josh Bauer with the beauty on the one timer. Four on four goal for the Blue Devils. And they cut that Chippewa lead in half. Two one with a buck 58 to go here in the first period. Pass down, might have hit off of the stick of Nick Wink, and that one will continue down the length of the ice. Wink, regardless, wins that race back, and he's behind the net. Tries one short side, he scores! Oh, the magician sneaks that one through an impossible angle. Shorty for the Chippewas from Nick Wink, and they have a 3-1 lead with 39.7 left to go here in the first period. Face off one over to Ryan Tyre, takes a slap shot, good save, rebound in front, and they score! Shane Agnello scores on the power play. 17.43 remaining in the second period. Chippewas take a 4-1 to one in lead. Everyone falls on top of that puck, nobody takes it initially. And Dalton Sullen kicks that one around, leaves it over for St. Andre, over to Ryan Tyre, fires the shot, and he scores! Hats off to Tyre with the water bottle shot. Top cheddar nowhere better, and the Chippewas take a four goal lead. 12.38 to go here in this second period. What a dynamite shot from Tyre. This one finds its way right back into the corner power play here. So it's a penalty kill situation for the Chippewas as they score! Redirect upstairs, looked like it was gonna be dumped into the corner and found its way, redirected off of the stick of Michael Buckley. Power play goal. Taken back now as St. Andre has it. St. Andre high slot, fires one, he scores! Oh, what a natural beauty of a shot right there from Jacob St. Andre. 6-2 Central Michigan lead, 18-02 to go. Red line, this one jumped over left side circle. Right to the front of that and they score! Alex Osborne gets the seventh goal of the night on for the Chippewas. Seventh from seven. And the Chippewas have a five goal lead, 17.09 left to go here in the second, third period rather. Gabe Smith keeps that one in on the backhand. It's loose in the circle, Ryan Tire to the front of that one timer and they score! Dalton Sullen gets the eighth goal of the night for the Chippewas and a six goal lead for second. He comes up with number 42 on the season for himself. Gator on his backhand, forehand. He gets this one off of the wide side boards as it finds its way to Dalton Sullen. Sullen. Back to Justice Bigelow, towards the front of the net, and they score! Power play goal for Nate Allgaier, his first of the evening, and it gives the Chippewas a 9-2 lead. Nick Wink with this one outside the right circle. Pass back down to Agnello to Wink, right to the front of the net, stays out initially, goes in, and they score! Power play goal for the Chippewas, see who leads the train there. A scrum in front of the net finds its way through as the net's coming off, and the Chippewas reach double digits. Played by Billens, working inside of the circle, down in front of the slot. Agnello tries it one last time, and for the 14th time this streak, Central Michigan has come up with a win. 14 straight games to improve their record. 